we must start working. And where are you going to start? Wherever you feel like you're able to make a move. Even a small tiny move will count and it will give you the power to continue. One success will lead you to the other because the happiness, the joy, the feeling of satisfaction that you will feel from succeeding, from doing something for Hashem, for really sacrificing and you're going to see results, even small results, will give you the encouragement, the strength to make another change in your life and to sacrifice in another aspect and even to go into hard places, even to reach places that are like you think for sure it's beyond my reach, it's above my powers. Today maybe, but after succeeding a little bit more in this way and succeeding a little bit more in the other way, suddenly you're going to find more powers. In the beginning, how we started our tshuva, one started to keep Shabbat, but all of the rest he couldn't care less about. One desired to start working on his learning Torah because the wisdom was so beautiful to him. He felt like the wisdom of the Torah is so beautiful. So he found that connection through learning. But Shabbat was still far from him. Eating kasher was still far. Another person, he saw tzitziot, whatever. Everyone found something else. And that was his first step into the world of Torah. Everyone. And the Creator, he knows exactly in which path to put you. That one step will bring you to the next. And you just need to make a first step. And even if every day you need to make one step, that step will bring you to the next day. And the next day will bring you to the next until we will complete our mission here on earth. I bless you all, every single one of you, that the Creator will reveal His kindness on you to open your eyes, to open your hearts, to give you that inspiration from inside, that you will decide, I am going all the way with my will, with my purpose. My salvation is not your salvation. Your salvation is not mine. You need salvation that is connected 100% to your life. You need to fix the individual problems that you have in your life. So for that, I'm blessing you all to have that power to believe in yourself, to believe that you have a destiny, that you have a goal, that you have a purpose, that you have something important, and you alone must find out what that purpose is. Because it's close to you. Because it's in your life. It's the salvations of your friends. It's in your family. It's in your community. It's in your town. It's in your area. It's in your hobbies. It's with, between your friends. It's in front of your eyes in a certain way. God put it like that. That you need to pull the light of Hashem into your place and to shine from there. To shine faith and to shine trust and to shine hope to your area and every one of us that will be that light, that pillar of light, that lighthouse will make so much light that will inspire other people to work on themselves as well and to become who that they are and to show the light of Hashem Barach to the world and then to the nation, nations. May Hashem Barach give us all the power to believe in ourselves it's just a temporary world that in this world, in this period of time, we have a mission. What's the mission? The mission is only not to forget the Creator, to remember that it's all Him, never to fall in the trap of all of those coverings, of all of those hustles.